Hello, I'm back with another Onshape tutorial and I'm going to model one of my favorite uh, models in Onshape that is Helmet and I'm going to use a surfacing technique mostly. This one is a model I modeled some time last year if you go to the versions and history, you can see the history of the part. I started on June 21st. And from 21st June up to now, Onshape has really improved. Therefore, the techniques I used here, they might be different from the ones I'm going to use today. Because Onshape gets better every day but the basic fundamentals of how to start design how to start sketch will always be the same with me i have two blueprints front and side for now i just need two that will help me to trace these lines as well you can have tops if you need but for me it's a very basic helmet here just to show you how you can use on shape to model such um, such a design if you want this blueprint just let me know i will drop a link for you where you can download them i have um, i've started a new part studio and renamed it as helmet demo the units i'm going to use is millimeters here in the first step we are going now to import these blueprints into the sketch into the uh, part studio so that they can help us to model the final 3d geometry we are going to start with the front in fact let's start with a side view here side and if you select side we can say we can decide we can say this one to be our side view this one here to be side therefore this side here we're going to import it to the front we're going to assume this is our side then the front we're going to import the front to the right yeah to avoid confusion here, I can just say this one here is right. Yeah. It depends on how you want your model, on what is front to you, what is right to you. But for me, I prefer most of the time this to be my side view. Yeah. Also, this can be side view. Yeah. Therefore, we're going to start with the uh, side here and we are going to import side onto the right here therefore select right plane this right plane here and select sketch once you say sketch you will see a button here you can see this one here you select the drop down here and select insert image therefore we are going to import side onto the right side you select the, you select the image then you can see a small message pops out here that states draw image rectangle therefore you can draw from here from the origin like that and let it go you can press n to view normal i want this point to be our origin and you can see once you insert your blueprint this once when you start now to modify the rectangle both height and width they scale uniformly 
concept does this automatically for you therefore you don't need to worry about aspect ratio this need to dimension one therefore in this scenario i know that height of this is 297 and those who like to use variables like me you can instead of writing 297 you can define variable directly in the sketch by by pressing that then say new variable and call it helmet height let me just change here you like uh, helmet language helmet height like that then say okay then and you see a small effects pops out therefore uh, okay you see here there's a small effect meaning that this 297 is being controlled by a variable then say okay and if you change here this variable you can select final to see your sketch and whatever you put here this starts to grow okay and this one here for me i'm i'm fond of renaming all my features i like to rename them to make my model easy to understand i like when you come back even after one year you can understand your model therefore i'm going to rename this one as a uh, blue blueprint side view or front view like that side view now i have my side view and now we go to the front view we sketch and insert right blueprint uh yes you not let me just put it back it was front yeah onto this front here you select sketch as we did with the right plane then you select this drop down here then say insert image you select your front blueprint then you draw a, a rectangle you can draw from in the anywhere because you can easily position it later therefore if you not try to move it you can move it around but for the front view i want it to be symmetry why because i'm going to model one side then mirror to get the other side i don't need to model everything therefore let me just pull this cube here somehow you can see i'm sure you can see it i'm pressing front then remember we said this height you can select this one here control you don't need to press control in on shift this and this and you can say equal this here you can say equal or you can press e those who, those the fun of using keyboard shortcuts like me then we need this uh the middle point of this line if you select the line and select the middle point and select this point the line automatically snaps to the origin the origin snaps to the middle point of the line now we have my right view and my front view you can hide these planes by pressing p on your keyboard when you press p p for planes you hide and show okay again as i said rename it front blueprint blueprint front i like starting my name with a, what is it it's a blueprint 
where is what where is it where which side is this blueprint for front instead of saying front blueprint i like starting the most significant uh, item in this case it is a blueprint then front because you might be you might ask why am i using this naming system i usually prefer whatever is the most significant item or anything you are using comes first the blueprint okay for what for the side view front view like that yeah it is a helmet height yeah maybe height helmet maybe then we have the blueprint for the side view in front view then these two it sometimes can have so many blueprints put them in a folder i'm going to teach you how to be organized as well bro print for the folders for personal i like using caps letters like that blueprints yeah blueprints you now you have a folder with two blueprints inside once i'm going to stop there in now in our next session we're going now to create the main body and i'll be slow for so that beginners can understand yeah therefore thank you and hopefully we can we're going to learn a lot i'll be very slow in this helmet design for you to learn from it let's meet in our next video thank you so much